Ciao! So it's Sunday night, uh, final night of Koi Con, and I'm at home already, but I want to do this video before I forget everything. So I didn't do my cosplay lineup video this year like I normally do because I only had two cosplays and one I've already made a video of because that was just a recycled one and the other one was just... So I'm just gonna talk about them now as I'm going through this video. Friday rolled around and I didn't learn anything from Anime Matsuri. Like no matter how little I think I'm bringing, I'm actually bringing a lot and it's heavy. So on Friday I brought everything that I wanted to take to the Pokemon gathering which included eggs for my Pokemon breeder cosplay, um, the pail that she carries everything in, my ditto, um, some other like things that I had for the gathering, and that ended up being a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I actually had to work on Friday, so I worked half day and then I went to Quiet the other half. Got off in order to prep for the cosplay gathering. No! I dressed as the Pokemon breeder. Um, I didn't really have anything planned that I wanted to go to that day, even though I got there a little bit earlier than five. I think I got there at like three. Um, because I was just thinking, I'm going to get off of work, I'm going to have to go home and prepare, and then I'm just not going to have time to do anything. So I'm going to plan for panels after six, which is when the photo shoot was over. So I kind of just uh, walked around dealers, artist alley, just looked at stuff until it was five. So five o'clock rolls around, I'm waiting for people to show up, and then not a lot of people showed up. It was like five people, and it was like, I guess this is it, and we can take pictures. So we took some pictures, and I was like, have some goodie bags and some eggs that I plan to give everybody, but only you guys are here, so have this. And I did have some prizes to give away at the gathering, and it was like, well, I think this is it. It's just going to be us, so do you guys want me to do it now? And then they were like, well, tomorrow will be busier, so why don't we meet up again tomorrow and we do everything tomorrow? I'm like, oh, I'll be doing a different cosplay tomorrow. And they were like, if it's not elaborate, you can just switch to the Pokemon reader again. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm convinced. Then we agreed upon that. So we. We finished what we were doing there, and we were just going to meet up same time, same place on Saturday. So that's what we did. And then after that, I went to the Galaxy Q&A panel, and then I met up with a friend after that, and we talked for a long time, and that ate up most of my time then, and then I went home. Saturday! I dressed up as Ikuza Erina again from the 123 single. There were board games involved at one point, and then I went to the fashion show, which was the H. Naoto and Galaxy fashion show. So I went to the Pony Canyon panel after that, and for whatever reason, I didn't think Pony Canyon did anime. I just know them from doing music. They played a video of all the things that they have done, and I'm like, wow, I've actually seen a lot of Pony Canyon stuff, and I didn't even know that. So then they talk about their new releases, which look really pretty and awesome, so I'm gonna have to go find those to watch that. After the Pony Canyon panel, there was the cosplay contest, which I got there like a little bit after it started, but it was already like super duper crowded. Like I got in there and I had to stand, which I guess was okay because there was like awesome cosplays that came on stage, but it was super crowded. Like their main events room was so small. Like uh, next, they, they weren't using the whole space because next door the, I, I can't even remember what it was, but it was like registration for some kind of marathon or something that was happening on Sunday. And so their main events room was so small and it was so irritating because anytime there was like this main event, there was just not enough room for people. So for the Saturday gathering, I kind of had a little bit more help advertising it because KawaiiCon did not at all. So um, one of the people that came on Friday posted like this nice image um, on the event page saying, hey, we're doing it on Saturday again, so please come. And then I was, uh, we were like, if you guys see any Pokemon cosplayers, please tell them, let them know that, you know, 5 p.m. on the fourth floor, we're going to be doing this again. And then we got there and it was kind of the, just the same people that showed up. 
And then so we waited a little while and then more people came. Um, after the uh, gathering, I kind of ended up just talking with my friend for a really long time. All of that. But we were catching up, so it was cool. And then um, eventually we ended up going to the Otome panel. So basically now I just talked about a bunch of Ultima games that she liked, which was still informative because I don't actually play the Ultima games too much, I just watch all the anime for them. No. And then the last panel that I went to on Saturday was the Naughty Figures panel, which I love Naughty Figures because they're so like detailed and beautiful. And she talked about the Naughty Alva one for a little while too. And it was actually somebody who worked for Good Smile that was doing that panel, which was great all in of itself. And then Sunday, I ended up waking up later than I wanted to! So I got there in time for the um, Strong Women in Anime panel, which was run by Grey Delisle and Mary McGlynn. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And that was a really fun panel. Those two are amazing. And if they come back again other years and other conventions, I will definitely try to make it to their panels. <laughs> And then I ended up meeting up with another friend and we talked for a really long time again, catching up because I go long, 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 long periods of time without talking to people and I'm sorry. The windows are closed! And then I went to the Modi Girl panel which was quite informative for me because I never ever take the time to go out and learn about these things for myself. And then we went up to closing ceremonies, but there was like this ridiculously huge line. So we were waiting for the line to go down before we actually went in. So by the time we get in, they've already started. And like, I don't even know how long they've already started. Like, closing ceremonies was supposed to start at 6. And by the time the line finished getting in, it was like 6.15 or something like that. So I don't know if they had just started talking at 6, like regardless if like everybody had gotten in or not. And then by, so by the time we got in, it was like, um, I know you love KawaiiCon because we had some fun and what about like another thing this year. So it was like, oh, are you implying that QuietCon is going to do like another event this year because that's cool? And it was like, no, they're talking about Comic Con. So okay, whatever, okay, I get it. You guys are like run by the same people or something, I don't know. And then they started going into guest list for Comic Con and it's like, no, no, you're QuietCon. Why are you talking about Comic Con guest? Like do that at your own convention. So that was a little weird. And they had like a bunch of dancing by just like volunteers and then so they finally were like oh here is a guest announcement for next year Koi Con and it was just big again and then that was it I don't know if within that 15 minutes I had like missed just everything else but that was literally it the worst closing ceremony thing that I had ever been to, ever. And now I'm home. 